Hi everybody, it's Brett here from Metropole. Well, would you like to understand what is driving this spike in Queensland property prices at the moment? For nearly a decade now, commentators have been, I guess, taunting and teasing us Queenslanders with a multitude of it's time factors and headlines. Unfortunately, it's never eventuated throughout the last decade. With many parts of Queensland having experiencing rapidly rising house prices, it now appears the time may have arrived. Brisbane alone has seen about 5.6% over the last quarter on average, and select sub suburbs have performed even better. The It's Time prediction is a bit like a broken clock. A broken clock's right at least two times a day, um, and the time eventually rolls around. So it seems that most experts and commentators have eventually gotten it right. But what has changed to force property prices up so rapidly? I think there's actually three factors that have done that. The first thing is the amount of jobs being created. Over the last decade, we just haven't been creating enough jobs. We've had floods, we've had thunderstorms and hurricanes, we've had a mining downturn, there's been a huge problem with our jobs creation. We just haven't done enough. But that's really, really starting to change. We've now got around 40, $41.3 billion of projects across the state. And that's being led by the inner city of Brisbane, where there's huge changes to our CBD, our airport precinct, a lot of infrastructure changes, a lot of highways being upgraded. So that's really, really exciting. We're now creating jobs. I think that's the missing link. Queensland's a fantastic place to live. We've got the weather, the lifestyle, it's all great. But if you can't get a job, then, then no one's going to be moving here. So we're starting to change that, and that's starting to get really, really exciting. The second thing I see and is affordability, and, and that's been a factor for a while now. People have been touting that, but we're now at the point where people are starting to make a change. The, the, the big change here is the average house price compared to what people are paying on their mortgage. At the moment, in I guess the southern capitals in Sydney and Melbourne, you're paying around 85 to 90% of your mortgage, oh, sorry, of your income on a mortgage, and a mortgage repayment, and that's huge. There's not a lot of disposable income there. In Queensland, though, uh, it's only really around 69, 70%. So it's a, a marked difference, and obviously the house prices in, in Queensland are a lot lower. So we're starting to get that affordability factor kick in. People are not moving south uh, for, for higher paying jobs because the disposable income's just not there. And people are finally moving up to Brisbane for lifestyle benefits and they're paying less on their mortgage. There was a joke going around there for a while that you could probably buy two properties in Queensland for one property in Melbourne or Sydney. So that's got to the point where people are now making a move. The third thing, and, and it was an X factor, is COVID-19. 12 months ago, we were gonna lose 40% of our house prices, but today it's actually been a benefit for the property market. People have had time to reflect and understand what they'd like to do. And the other thing is we've had a, four, a period of enforced savings where people have had to save. They haven't been able to travel or go overseas and things like that. So they're redirecting, they're paying down debt, they're saving, and to be honest, they're buying houses, boats, and cars. So it's a bit of a perfect sport storm there, guys. We've got the jobs finally being created, um, that affordability factor starting to kick in and people are moving to Brisbane. Um, and finally, that COVID-19, we've had about 30,000 people in the last 12 months move up from our southern capitals. And that's really, really helped push the Brisbane market. So it's finally time. Brisbane people and Queensland people are probably basking in the sun because they've been waiting a decade for this to happen. So there's some key factors there. I don't see this changing anytime soon. Um, I think it's going to be a really strong decade for Brisbane, particularly at the start. And if we do get the Olympics towards the end, that could certainly ramp things up again as well. So a good time to be in Queensland at the moment. Thanks for watching.